Hello everyone, welcome to part 6 of RecJS tutorial with Laravel for beginners. Okay, so we are going to start working on the components. So components is the main thing of the Rect. Okay, everything we built in Rect is based on the components. We can say component is one of the core building blocks of Rect. Okay, so it is everything and uh, and uh, we can also say like every app we can develop with the help of components only either big small every kind of react app we are going to take help of the components otherwise it is not possible to build the react app and i am going to uh, show you here give you the uh, example here okay like uh, suppose we are going to build the e-commerce app okay very soon we are going to build the e-commerce app okay so uh, yeah so here like uh, uh, sorry uh, i'm going to so suppose this is our mobile okay so this is our mobile and uh, in mobile this complete is the home page suppose this is the home page complete is the home page this one so it is based on the home component we are going to build the home component okay and inside this home component uh, we are going to have the header this is the app header so uh, and this is the middle content this is the footer f footer okay and uh, this is the sidebar okay if in case we want to give this sidebar this is the sidebar and this is the middle content okay whatever banner will come or something suppose this is our app okay this is our app that we have opened in mobile or in uh, uh, in the tab okay so so header footer sidebar middle content and this one is the home component and under the home component we are going to make the header component this one also will act as the component we are going to make the header component we are going to make the sidebar component okay so all the components we are going to make inside our app okay so these are the kind of components that we are going to build whenever we will work on app we are going to build these components every comp component is having its own role okay so, but all are connected with each other like uh, home component this is complete the home component under home component we are going to build many more components so this is the kind of example uh, see uh, right now uh, see we need to maybe we are going to follow this pattern or maybe some other pattern uh, pattern but uh, main thing is i want to tell you that uh, uh, we are going to use the components for building the rect app okay so i hope that it is somewhat clear to you so uh, component we can say act as the javascript functions and return the html okay so uh, see there are two types of components here uh, I'm, I want to show there are two types of components and uh, those are uh, one is the class component okay class component okay and another one is the function components function component okay so these are the two types of components class component and function component and we have already done function component if you will see our last video you can see that we are working on the function component this is the kind of the function component see we have not done the class component but we have already done the function component but i am going to give you the simple example of both so that it will be clear to you see class component uh, used to come in rect in the earlier days people use uh, the class component but now uh, now the rect recommends the function component because function components are easier to build function component uh, 
uh, are more faster whatever the rect uh, used to say about this thing like the function components are better than the class component so we need to use the function component more often than the class component okay so i will also tell you like uh, uh, class component is a kind of the component uh, uh, that inherits the feature from the other classes okay it used to inherit the feature like the normal class do it and inherit the features from another classes okay but in function component nothing like this will happen it is based on the hooks hooks i have told you in the last video that hook is a uh, kind of uh, the uh, we can say the built-in method of the rec js uh, rec js introduces hook in place of the class for fasten up the process okay and for user states okay so i will also tell you about these things uh, in a more clear way okay so right now just uh, you need to remember that the class component are based on the classes and the function component does not have any kind of classes and uh, and it works with the uh, hooks or user state that, that we have seen in the last video you can see the use state okay we have seen this one that how to create the variables how to use them okay we have seen this one okay so it is based on these kind of things okay so now i'm going to uh, do practically both class component we are going to create and function component we are going to create so that the difference uh, is front of us okay so first of all uh, we are going to work on the uh, the class component okay so i am going uh, here and i am going to create one component here with new file okay i will name this component as home.js okay like we are going to make the home component here so i will make it like home.js okay so see one more thing i want to tell you the component name always start with the capital letter okay so component name always start with the capital letter to, uh, so remember this thing as well component name always start with the capital letter component name always uh, always in caps okay always in caps okay so the component name always in caps so here uh, see i am going to uh, see first of all we need to import the rect like uh, we used to uh, see we require the rect and we need to import the component as well okay so we are going to uh, import both component component okay from rect this we need to import i'm going to import like this okay so after that uh, uh, here uh, we are going to use the class okay home extends see it will inherit the feature from the component class okay so class will work like this so inside this one uh, we will use the render method see in components in in class component we are going to use the render method but in uh, in the function component we are not going to use the render method uh, the function component straight away return the data return the html and but in uh, in class component we are required to use the render method in which we are going to return the data return the html okay return the html like anything we can display here div then h1 we are going to this one is the uh, this is the class component okay so we are going to uh, see here and uh, we need to add this like home.js we have built this component we need to add in the app.js okay uh, because app.js is the home page of our app <coughs> so we need to connect this one to show on the home page so here uh, we need to import this home import home component here home from uh, from the uh, the path we are going to give here like this home okay so now we are uh, also see we need to display this home component data so here uh, we need to add it here somewhere okay like i am going to add it at the top okay so that it will be more clear here i will just 
add it like this home okay that's it home oh sorry uh, this one will come at last like this okay so now we need to check that whether uh, i think yeah some error has come uh, we're going to check export default okay so this one we need to add uh, see i forgot to add one uh, uh, one syntax here here we need to add export default okay so this one also we are required to add in front of the class component okay so it is mandatory to add so here you can see this uh, here this is the class component at the top you can see this is the class component has come up so this uh, we have built with the class component you can see that we have built the home dot js file with the class component how we can render the data how we can return the html okay so this one we have done like this okay so now uh, we are going to work with the uh, function component uh, okay i am going to do example with the function component okay so uh, for that i am going to make one more uh, file here new file see everything we need to uh, do under src folder okay so here i will name this component as the function component function.js file i'm going to create okay so here also first of all we need to import our uh, that uh, our container okay uh, here uh, we can see uh, this one like we have done there we need to import the component okay uh, and uh, here we are going to copy this one okay import rect component from rect okay so we will do like this and after that uh, see we are going to create one function here uh, function and we are going to see here also uh, the in function component the name will be in caps okay we are going to take it the function okay function uh, for the function component we are going to take its name as the function also okay and inside this one return uh, see h1 see there is no render required here see straight away h1 and here we this is the is the function component okay so here this one this function uh, we are going to add, add here as well uh, in the same way like we have done this one so in the same way sorry so in the same way like i am going to copy this one will paste here and here at both the places i am going to add here function component okay like this and here also i am going to add like uh, we have done home here i am going to add at the top for the function component i will add here function uh, define it like this uh, so that we can use it okay so here some error has come once again we need to see export default was not found in function component okay so it is saying here also we require the export default see there we have declared the export default at the top but here we require to declare it here export default function okay also we require to add the function as well okay so i think now it must work fine export default function make sure uh, that there is no mistake we have done here everything seems to be fine and here you can see the this is the function component it is coming at the top so we able to show the function component as well along with the class component see here in the function component we used to have it at the bottom export default and whatever component you have declared you need to mention it here as well see same thing we have done with earlier uh, with the uh, those codes like home.js and I want to uh, see my code here explorer and here I want to see like in earlier as well we have done in the same way mm, uh, okay so uh, like in app.js uh, here you can see in app.js like uh, see we are returning so much HTML and whatever we do in function component like if we will create any kind of more function uh, see the reason uh, of the return see we can return here the test uh, static test we can also return here the dynamic uh, dynamic uh, uh, means dynamic variables or dynamic functions whatever we want to return we can return the data 
either in the dynamic way or in this static way either uh, we can get the data here uh, from somewhere else like from the database we can get like uh, we have done in the app.js we get the data uh, from our api from the get api from the database and then we able to show uh, in our code okay uh, uh, means whatever the dynamic data we able to get here and then we can pass here okay you can see that how we can able to pass here user data complete user data in for each loop this map will work as a for each loop and here we able to show in the html so main thing is to return the html both will return the html uh, this class component also return the html this is the functional component sorry this also return the html and the class component also return the html both will return the html either static html or the dynamic html that is uh, that we will call from some other function or somewhere else like uh, from the axios or from the fetch okay we will get that data from somewhere else okay and we can also show but in both cases we are going to return the html okay so i hope that this some this is somewhat clear to you so in next video we are going to do something else and we will start working on the e-commerce apis we will uh, use the same admin panel of our e-commerce website and we are going to work on uh, everything one by one okay so please stay tuned for the further videos that's all for now have a nice time goodbye